video we're going to look at how to use a noise gate so here is a recording of a kick drum where we'll hear quite a lot of bleed it's right in the background you can hear bleed from the other elements of the drum kit that's because they were all recorded at the same time so to use a noise gate we're going to press I for inspector and then right at the top of this effect strip I'm going to include a noise gate so that's in dynamics and it's found under noise gate and there we are I'm working with this soloed so I can be precise now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a little loop region so I can work and I'm going to lift up the threshold all the way to the top and then I'm going to start lowering it so the gate is opening just for the kick drum there we go so that means the threshold level is set so the gate will only open for the kick drum and not for the other bleed elements now the next part is to look at how long should the gate stay open for so we've got the attack which is how fast uh, the gate will open well, we're working with a kick drum which is a really fast sound so we need to make it as fast as possible and then how long will the gate stay open for is the hold and then how long will it take for the gate to release and close so we can see that at the moment it's chopping up the sound we don't have the full kick sound so I'm going to increase the hold to 100 milliseconds that's better we've now got the whole sound let me increase it even further see if there's any difference that's better and now we can look at the release and see if we can have a more of a gradual decrease so we're not chopping up any of that transient that we can hear so we can have more of a release you can hear that it's just chopping off the end of the sound That's better. So that's the noise gate on. Let's just hear the difference. So this is the noise gate off.